today I would like to show you new device that I've got in my lab. In front of us is a absolutely monster UV quartz lamp. I believe the the lamp is called HPA. This is a discharge bulb, quite similar to the metal halide. Maybe that's the same family. And it was used for tanning, for use on the human, if you would like to get some tan and you would like to get your skin a little bit darker. But it was mostly not used as a beauty device, but as a medical, because in some countries you do not have enough sun, so your skin cannot make enough of the vitamin D, I believe. And this is when you could use this type of device and it will help you out through the times when you do not have enough sun so you can get some artificial. So absolutely, absolutely beefy unit and it didn't, it wasn't, it was not working. Let me turn it on and take a look at the at the bulb you can very briefly see the the spark maybe that's the ionization maybe that's the good word but it don't work what i expect i expect problem with a uh, starting circuitry and I, I already opened this unit and I order a device for igniting it. I believe this is a beefy capacitor and a starter. And with use of a coil, it generates a very high voltage spike to create an arc inside of the bulb for a quick moment. And when it's ignited, it will work on its own. So let's try to open this and replace the starter. And I'm pretty sure it will be working just fine because there is no filament in this bulb and it's very clean. So I do not expect that this part is broken. And we can take a look inside. And I believe this is our primary suspect. And as you can see, we've got uh, 400 watts. This is what we are interested. That will be something around the amps, because you can see 4.6 amp. We've got a schematic, and looks like that will be a standard, because we've got exactly the same, same pinout. And this is the lamp, as you can see, connected to the LP with this insulated heat shrink, or maybe not a heat shrink, but just a, with a insulation. And that's because the ignition voltage is quite high. So I'm going to swap this unit and we are going to test, will it resolve our issue? Okay. We can take a look at the old ignition. This is how it looks like. And it have a starter very similar to the one you can find of a CFL bulb. So this is quite interesting unit and looks like it was manufactured that way. So that might be just a capacitor connected to the starter. This is what I would expect, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong and you can correct me. But let's take a look inside and here it is. Here we've got our new ignition connected 
in exactly the same way the lamp in center just like on the schematic and we can try to power it on and i'm pretty sure it must be working so let's crank the time and connect power and just like you would expect everything is working just fine okay yes it does working in general this type of lamp you need to wait some time when there are warm and you might have a problem with uh, starting them after turning on and off they need to cool down but as you can see everything is working perfect just a safety warning this is uv light and you would do not you do not want to expose yourself to 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 this radiation the most important is of course eyes but in general that is a little bit associated with a uh, cancer so yeah you have to be careful so this is how it looks like very nice very simple fix and this cool piece of tech is working again i'm probably going to use it for a retro brightening my electronics i use the yeah, i use the, the hair brightening solution and exposed to the uv light and you can get rid of yellowish plastic so thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye